Hi everyone, it's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day, so I thought I would go out for a walk. So I'm currently right now going up a hill. So if I seem a little bit out of breath, that's why. And I also want to apologize for the background noise. I'll try to edit it out as best as I can. So we're here at the three month mark of my serapeptase journey. And as promised, I'm here to give you guys an update. So if you're new to my channel, I would urge you to go ahead and look at the playlist. Go watch the playlist that I put here, here somewhere. Go and watch that so that you'll know what the heck I'm talking about. I want to remind you guys that I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a woman that loves to make product reviews. I love doing journeys. So in saying that, please check with your doctor first before trying to repeptase or trying anything new. So I wanted to focus on some side effects and the side effects that I wanted to talk about are actually pretty pleasant side effects. I'm really happy about that. First one is digestion. My digestion has not been this great in years. It has my digestion is the best that it's ever been. So while being on serapeptase, I haven't experienced any constipation. And if you're a person that suffers from constipation, you're going to love serapeptase. If you're a person that has great um, digestion, I'll call it that, then you may want to play with your dosage a little bit because you're going to notice you're going to be going to the bathroom more frequently. The second side effect is it has still been alleviating my need to wee in the middle of the night. So I am now having restful sleep. I sleep entirely through the night. I don't have to get up to wee. And I'm also noticing that during the day, I'm going like hours and hours without having to wee, which I think is amazing. You people out there that have the same issue that I have can relate. I thought that this was going to be something like these side effects were going to be something that were going to be temporary, but I'm seeing that it's it's still with me here for for three months, and I am here for it. <laughs> My last video, I mentioned to you guys that I had not experienced any improvement with my thumb. I have arthritis in my right thumb, it's mild arthritis, but the whole reason why I started to take serapeptase was for the pain and inflammation that I was experiencing and I was not getting any relief. So what I decided to do was, I decided that I was going to double my dose. I didn't wanna double my dose, but I kind of felt like I had no choice. I was taking 120,000. I was taking 120 SUs, but I am now taking 240 SUs and I'm taking that twice a day. So I take it in the morning and I take it at night. I did that for a couple of days and I noticed that I actually had pain relief. So I am no longer experiencing the pain in my thumb. I'm now able to ring a doorbell like a normal person. I'm able to use my microwave and press the buttons with my thumb like a normal person. I'm happy about that. I really am. Please. I wanted to take a minute here just to talk about fasting. Some of you guys know I live a fasting focused lifestyle. So I fast 20 hours and I have an eating window of four hours. So, and I'll post some videos up below in case you're interested. So in saying that, I really feel that serapeptase and fasting work really well together. I would even say that intermittent fasting and serapeptase would work really well together because serapeptase is something that they actually say you're supposed to take it on an empty stomach. And my stomach is empty uh, for uh, quite a long part of the day, 20 hours. That's that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of fasting, right? 
I wanted to talk about this because I had somebody leave a comment on my video regarding the syrup peptase that I was doing the journey. And they basically said, well, why do you have to take syrup peptase if, you, if you're fasting? Fasting should basically do the same thing as a syrup peptase. Well, I'm here to say that fasting alone for me does not help with my inflammation. It doesn't alone help with my pain, obviously. And for a lot of other people out there, they need more than fasting. There's people that fast and they still have to take their medication. So I don't agree with that statement. I think everyone is different. Everybody's health is different. Um, everybody's makeup is different. Everybody's diet's different. So what works for you, the person that's saying this, may not necessarily work for me. I'm sure that some of you guys are wondering about my lymphoma on my arm. So I haven't seen any change since the last video. So there's really no point in doing any sort of before and after pictures or whatever. And I would have to say that I'm actually really happy the way that it is. I did not even think that just out of the blue, it would shrink like that with the use of the syrup peptides. So I'm happy with it. And again, my lymphoma is a non-cancerous, it's a fat deposit. I've had it there for a long time now, um, probably over 17 years now I've had it. So to sum up, there you have it guys. Um, I love syrup peptides. I'm very pleased with it. I do want to say that, as I said before, everyone is different. My results may not be the same as your results because my dietary makeup is different. My health is different than yours. So don't watch my video and expect the exact thing to happen to me to happen to you. This is my journey, as I've said so many times before. But in saying that, I'm going to continue taking serapeptase. I love it. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it. If you are interested in getting it, go for it. I'm going to put a link to the syrup peptides that I use in the description below. And I also put it in the comment section. If there's people out there that have experienced positive benefits from it, please let me know in my comment section. So I kind of feel like I had said that I wanted to do this journey for a year. I wanted to do the updates for a year. But I'm feeling that the experiment is over. Personally, I am going to continue to take the prep days. But I don't know if the video updates are necessary anymore. But if you guys want me to continue to make the videos, I will make them. But if I am seeing crickets in my comments and you guys are not participating, you're not really telling me if you want me to make the videos, then I will stop uploading them. I will still make them for my own personal use i'll probably just have them on my channel but i'll have them as private so please let me know in the comments if you want me to continue to make these videos all right that's it guys that's the update um if you want to ask me questions feel free to do so if you want to ask me a question on instagram you have to be actually following me for me to see the question i get so many people that just send me spam all the time that I've turned my settings to where you have to follow me in order for me to see your questions. I'll see you at the four month update. Maybe, maybe it's all, it's up to you guys. And thank you for watching. Give this video a like, comment, share and subscribe. And you guys know it. I love you all very, very much. Stay blessed, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.